I've been running the Fixers Collective for a few years, and over the course of dozens of fixing sessions, I've come to realize that when we fix, we do a lot more than just repair. So I want to just take a few minutes to go over uh, some of the roles that we perform as fixers. Uh, most intuitively, fixers are educators. That project in front of you is a wonderful opportunity for project-based learning. The curriculum is there, the lesson plan is there, your homework is there, and as a result, it takes on roles that other people would traditionally take on. That project is a disciplinarian, a drill sergeant, a clerk, a judge, and with that, that gives opportunity for people to become mentors first and foremost. These projects also make a statement. So that leads me to my next role as artists. That happens on three levels. The act of repair itself is a performance piece. People are watching you, people are filming you, people are looking at what you're doing. The work in progress is also another piece of art. You can lay it there, let it, let it sit there and freeze, let everybody watch over it for days, weeks, few minutes, and Lastly, your finished product is also can be considered a work of art. Even if it's cracked, melted, burned away. Yeah, that, that's a piece of art too. And as a work of art, fixers make a statement. And that statement leads to my last set of roles for fixers as activists. You can, take, you can go to a lot of places with this role. You can be a consumer activist. You can uncover the planned obsolescence, and in some cases, the planned failure of some of the products that we use today. For me, it's the ball grid array, bad capacitors, and lead-free solder. So, another type of role that comes to mind is actually a community activist. As we have our fixing sessions, we engender that sense of community where we all get together, share skills, stories. They don't need to be related to fixing. Your summer vacation, Anything. And so with that, that sense of community can offer a better alternative to gentrification, a better alternative to ghettofication, a better alternative to urban decay. Mostly, I want to take on the role of fixers and as environmental activists. A lot of us uh, go to recycling events, turn in our old equipment, and a lot of people think that recycling is equated to reuse. No, most of the time it gets shredded, chopped up, and as a result, reuse is not possible, repair is not possible. And we think that we're recovering a lot of stuff from what we turn in. Mm. I fix it will tell you 30% of the stuff that we want to recover can't happen. A lot of those items are the rare earth minerals that we use to swipe and uh, create touch screens. So I have a call to action for everybody. Go fix something. I'm sure that we all have something in our place that we can fix, and we can help you do it. We have a fixing session this Thursday in Brooklyn. But in addition to that, we're also gonna be at Maker Fair. Come visit us too. And we're also, we got some other art things going on. Thank you for listening.